Stop phoning me. Chaos Galaxy Online. You're capitalizing like crazy. Well, what time are we going to come to your house? Soon. What is up, guys? Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy, and today I'm going to be doing the highlights reel for the first ever Chaos Galaxy online tournament that I've taken part in. First of all, a huge shout out to everyone who entered the tournament. There were eight of us in total, and people were using some really creative strategies and decks from the Chaos Galaxy TCG, which was amazing to see. It's honestly like a, a dream come true that people are around the world are playing my game people who i don't know and are willing to kind of put so much time and thought into building decks creating strategies and battling against other people online um which is obviously what a trading card game is all about and it's yeah like i said it feels amazing to have created something that has led to a tournament like this um so so good but if you want to take part in any other future Chaos Galaxy tournaments, check out the Chaos Galaxy Discord. Um, this is where the entire competitive community hangs about. Uh, this is where the tournaments are kind of entered and they are then held on Untap, which is this great kind of tabletop simulator website where you build decks. This is the deck I used in the tournament 60 time. If you haven't seen the deck list, then head to the link in the description where I talk through the strategy of the deck and how it worked in the tournament. So yeah, there'll be links to these two websites in the description below, but you build decks. There's a more in-depth tutorial by done by one of the guys on the Discord, TCG Maniac, um, that teaches you how to use Untap and build your own decks and play online, uh, which is really useful, so check that out. And I'll get to this tournament's highlight reel in just a sec, but first, if you want to get your hands on any Chaos Galaxy packs, head to the link in the description or go on thegamecrafter.com and just search up Chaos Galaxy. Got all the starter decks, booster packs and battle boxes on here, so definitely check that out and enjoy the highlights reel for the tournament. Okay, should be good to go. Zach, come get some, that looks like me. It's a game. Insert deck. 60 time. Okay. Ooh, Roka, my favourite planet. Cool. Always Tails. Tails always wins. Hey! This is confusing. Uh, shoot. Let me get a zone. Insert card. Uh, resource. Zone. Cool. I'll have one of these. Cool. And then I'll play that. Uh, your turn. Uh, what do you mean, uh, I, are you laughing at my deck, Sylvan Advocate, if that is your real name? How do I... Right click. Aha! Uh -huh. Sweet, forgot I actually had to end my turn manually. Ha You're not allowed to use Roker with Barrow Zones. Should be disqualified and I automatically win. Ugh. I'm going to pay two and get a Creature Zone. Oh, I hope I win this game. I don't want to lose my own game. All right, so... We're in a good position here, Defo. Oh, what do I attack with, though? All right. I'm going to draw. Oh, right, I've drawn. So again, two, three, four, five. So I've got eight stars. That's crazy. Um, I'm going to buy another creature zone. And I'm going to play my Kaleidoscope Warriors uh, attack. Okay, so they've killed my Kaleidoscope Warriors, which is annoying. However, I've used up their Beast of the Black Hole, which is kind of the best card in the game. So that's really good. Pay six to play Meltalon. Attack with said Meltalon. Boom. A hey, killed him. I want to look at Meltal on. I don't... Okay. Oh, he's passed his turn. Right, we can get some good points in here. So, with 10 stars, yes, we can get Battle Zone. I like how I kind of don't really know Sylvan. 
because I'm only used to playing against friends and things, so it's a lot more chilled out, whereas playing like a competitive game, this is actually so exciting. And then I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, five, six to play a Drangel. Oh, yeah. And then if that's all good, I'm going to move these guys into battle zones. Stop, please. What do I attack with first? I'm going to start with Meltalon first. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So that is a whopping six points for Zach. You love to see it. And then I'm going to end my turn. Or Bob when I get space for it. Oh, no, he's got the Pelfam. Ooh, he's bouncing Collector's Cabinet. That's interesting. He's going to kill the Drangel. Um, I'm going to play this again, obviously. I've gained five stars next turn, which would put me on nine. And then I could play Stalius. Because that's the problem with the Chaos Beast. The fact they have nine stars means that they take two turns plus one star to play, so they're really awkward. Expelled. Okay. Right. Oh, my God, do I risk this? Okay. Uh, but then because I have nine... Boom! Big boy. Stalius is Indian. And then... Oh, he's killed the Pelfam already. Cool. Your go. Oh, what? Chaos Beast on Chaos Beastie action. Oh, but... Oh, he can't kill. Oops. A Terracon, unfortunately, cannot kill a Stalius. Draw one. Uh, and then I gave my five. Actually, Collector's Cabinet has been the MVP of this game. He's been so good. Move these guys into battle zones. And then uh, draw and play area. Kill the Terracon. Okay, and then he gets the Galaxy Rock and attach a... Oh, he's summoning a Clude. Playing a Clude. And a Snooflake. Ah, that means he gets the draws of cards. Oh, I don't like that I'm up against Weatherman. I, lo I, was, I really nearly used Weatherman in this um, video tournament. But this kind of weird mismatch deck. Um, I just wanted to kind of be original as possible and just see what I could do with the game. Uh-oh. Dark Space Eater. I don't like that. The health of Stalius. Oh, no, he's KO'd my Stalius. Yeah, okay, yeah. You got him. Yep. Gonna have a oh he's buying a battle zone oh has he got weatherman rainbow has he got a combiner another loom of Aaron. I should have won last turn what is wrong with me actually I don't think I could have I could very nearly have I didn't think I had anything that could have got me four points uh oh oh he's gonna get my Freaking melt on, isn't he? Stalius, please, can't free play. Chaos Beasts. Oh, he's getting melt. Uh, do, I, do I need to, like, press anything to give... Okay, that's cool. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So killing that, discard, discard, and then attack me for two. Nice. Okay. Uh, reveal. Okay, my turn. Two, three, four, five. And draw. Oh, -ho -ho. there it is. Let me see your killed things. Okay, so I'm going to pay. Oops. One, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Play a Meltalon. Play Phantom Matter. I'll have your Pelfam. Ah, oh, no. I fell for the thingy card. What's it called? Dark Space Eater. 
Okay, so attach Mel warp hold jetpack to Meltalon and then kill his Lumiveron. Another Pelfa. Okay, so warp hold jetpack is going back to my hand. And a weatherman Litnung. KO your Pelfam. And then I'm going to troll you by attacking a Pelfam with something that's got 10 health. Yeah, and then that kills that. And then that kills that. And play a Drangel. And then. Yeah, that should be game. Okay, so yeah, Bamoon Moom attacks that. And then Strangel attacks for three and wins. The six star thing did kind of work at the end. Bamoon Moom and Meltalon were like did do well. Okay, so that was game one. Although the final score was twenty to three, it did, it was a lot closer than that. It did feel like a pretty tight game until the end. Um he made a few he made a few comebacks and almost got me on the ropes, but um, pretty happy with the way I performed. Collector's Cabinet did really well, and then uh, Meltalon was another card that was really good for me. Stallius Stallius for Sindian just seemed a bit too strong. Um, the fact that his Chaos Beast kind of got wiped out by it, and then he couldn't do much for a while really kind of gave me the, the advantage at the end. But yeah, good things for going into round two. Cool. Come on, let's go. Round two, want to keep my 100% win ratio in the competitive scene. Four, five interesting hand i think i like that hand tails damn i wanted tails the heads okay so i'll go first if that's okay yep all right so i'm gonna gain my four and then i don't draw because i'm going first and then i'm gonna pay resource and two for a creature and then you'll go oh this is tense i'm a i'm really happy with that hand i think six stars straight away one of each zone Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and then he's got the Rolantis. Yes, I love going... I, oh, the Zetarays are one of my favourite archetypes. I'm so glad I'm going against them. Got his first attack away with Skatoda. Turn has passed me. So I draw one. Oh, that's quite nice. One, two, three, four. I'm going to play that. I feel bad now because I've made like a competitive deck. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm probably going to get trashed this game. Um, but I've made a competitive deck, and it's not as fun as decks like the Zeta Rays. And I'm going to pay three. Oh, sorry, two for a battle zone, and then bring out my Kaleidoscope Warriors, and then move her into a battle zone. And attack, boy. Okay, so I get to look at their hand. Um, kill KO, please. Cool. End of my turn. Yeah, man, I, I appreciate um, the Zeta Rays and stuff being played so much because they are like my favourite archetype. I think in the next tournament, I'm definitely going to use a deck that isn't just built for competitive purposes and one that I can have fun with, like a Zeta Ray deck. Um, or maybe Shiozi and Lava Beasts, actually. They do not get enough love. Seven, I go up to seven, and then I'm going to go back down to one. Let's play my Melty Boy. And then we're going to attack with Melty Boy. Six to play Melty Boy. Version two. Cool, and then he kills my Melty Boy. F of Paul. Bring back a Melty Boy. Oh, and then, yeah, under a burrow at... Uh, I love this card. This card is so good, um, and it can take out that Relantis. Although I really, I don't want to take it out. I want, I want him to get the Zeta Rays out. This deck is weird. It works so well though for some reason. Six stars, just quite a nice number because when you're buying your first zones, they all cost two stars. So over the course of a turn, you gain four stars. So that means in two turns you get eight stars, which equals a zone and a six star creature perfectly. Um, so I've found it's been working quite well through that. Then with cards like Star, do that. No! Attack. Six 
So you can use Mythical Beast of the Deep to add back his other copy of this. So this card was not banned, but half banned for it. So you only allowed one copy of Mythical Beast of the Deep because it can like add itself back. Two, three, four, five, six. And play the Moon Moon. Um, use his ability to copy my Meltalon's health. Oh, he's playing a Crunch on. Hey, Mantelosus, my boy. So I guess, yeah, then I just attack. Oh man, yeah, I can't even kill either of them. That's a shame. So I guess, yeah, then I just attack. That with that. So then with that Bamoomoom attack, I'd won round two, again, 20-3. to three. So I'd really had a good start to this tournament. He did have some good cards coming up in his deck, but um, an another good win for me. Um, although round three would prove ah, to be so he had a, pretty good hand. a lot more tough of a challenge than these other rounds. And of course, big shout so out to Melty Boy for completely carrying me through that round. Okay, and we're back with 60 time. Levi, my third battle so far, 2-0 up. Tails... Tails always wins. Kiro's watching. Tails always wins. Told you, man. Cool. So, got to draw five. Okay. I like that hand. Collector's Cabinet has been so good for me so far this tournament. Really hoping it can do bits this game as well. There's some interesting zones. My turn. Okay. Play a Meltalon. Attack for four. And you're good to go. I've opened up with a really nice hand here. Ah, so he's playing the Ozo cards. Okay, so Meltalon is on two. Draw one. Gain our one, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to go ahead and kill this Ozo Kai. Let's just attack. I think we just got to get through all these Ozo cards. What is his deck? And here's the death. Ah, shit. Right, so just recording over this. He's played an Ozo, the Titan of Justice, and you must then reveal one Barrow, Sindian, and Gaios creature, and you get to kill a card on your opponent's planet. Oh, man, I love that he pulled off the Ozos there. Oh, my God, I have the maddest move. I have the maddest... That Ozo then died, and I had a Phantom Matter in my hand, which I could bring back. I then had a Drangel in my hand, and under a burrow in my hands, so that's Sindian and Gaios, I then had a Galaxy Rock, which I could use to change its planet to Barrow, bring back the Ozo with the Phantom Matter, and then reveal those three cards to kill his creature. Which, on yeah, my, my part, this was like the best play I did all tournament. I was buzzing when I pulled it off. Although he did then Galaxy Crash it instantly next turn. No, that was so sad. And then he proceeded to use my own Chaos Beast that I was using against me. And he wasn't even using the planet Sindian, but he somehow made it work. He then proceeded to play another Ozo and was just keeping one Barrow, one Sindian and one Gaius card in his hand the whole time. So there's nothing I could really do to stop it. And eventually that second Ozo and a Pelfam just finished me off and there was nothing much I could do. So unfortunately, after going two rounds unbeaten, I did lose the third round. But I'm glad I lost it to Levi because he had a really good original deck for that was based around a set of cards that you guys really didn't like when I released. Um, a lot of people said Ozo the Titan of Justice wasn't a very good card and it was too situational. But Levi made it work. And big shout out to Levi. He's also... he's been a big part of the channel for ages and he's designed one of the winning designer card contest cards so um although i'm good i didn't win well done levi you thoroughly earned it and i'm glad you were the one who beat me okay we're in round four against supernova supernova is very active on the discord i am excited for this a full screen that boy uh, heads good heads because tails always wins no! I'm going to lose. Oh, yes. Let me go first anyway. That's great. Interesting hand. I think I like it. Okay. And my go first. I uh, could just go for a, for the Melty Boy play. Yeah. Actually, I might just go straight in for the Drangel, you know. 
Uh, on my turn there. Uh, I think I'm going to have to pay six for the Melthalon. Nice. I like that. Doesn't even get its ability, which is lovely. Ooh, got him on the ropes. So we draw. I could do the Collector's Cabinet now. That's not a Collector's Cabinet. Warpod Jet Plaque plus Melton is so good because Melton's a six star. Most of the creatures in my galaxy are a six star. And as they get weaker, they're easy to kill. If you kill one with a Warpod Jet Pack, I get a free Drangle. And now I've got the card advantage, even though we started the game and he had one more card than me because he went second. So I'm quite happy with my position here. Really don't want to have to use that Galaxy Crash. You can't really beat over an Omnius though. Might just have to Galaxy Crash and then swing for four with a Chorb or something. I think I'm going to end my turn there. I'm going to be patient with it. I'm going to have to Galaxy Crash him. Okay, and then I'll pay four to play my Chorb. Hmm, I could also slush infest his battle zone. Play something big, I want to use his Stardia. Oh, he's using a Meteoroid Storm on that. Oh, wait. Yeah, and it gets rid of my um, slush infestation. That was a big hit for me, actually. Okay, so there's that. Um, bounce my rock, which is okay. I'll use Star Dealer to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, so he's played in orbit. Both players swap stars with each other until the end of your opponent. Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm going to have to. Right. Now I should be able to get some points in, hopefully. Um, and then I'll pay one, two, three, four, five, six. I just need to get rid of as many stars as I can because at the end of my turn, the stars will swap back, so he'll go to one and I'll go to three. That orbit was big, although I had the answer to it. One, two, three, four. Four, that Manta Ray is delicious. Damn, that orbit was good. I was going to play me Chaos Beastie. That Warpole Jetpack is nice. I'm going to attach a Slush Infestation. I want to get one of these Underwood Burrowers out. I think in future with this deck, I might put Underwood Burrower down to one. Uh-oh, a seven star. Is that a Pelfam? Yes. I know he's used his Beast of the Black Hole. Um, I'm going to pay... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. First Stallius. Boy. Uh, and then I'm going to pay one for a Shockerfly. Well, oh, these two guys have been annoying this game. And last game, actually. There's just no permanent resources. I mean, I, a good, another good thing about Collector's Cabinet is that I can always just like sacrifice that if I need to bring one out. No! Oh no, and he's playing a seven star. Crap. Ah. Not a Diver Cadre. What the hell is that thing stats going to be? Uh oh. No. Phew, I thought I was going to win. My turn. Come on, give me something good. Uh, and then. Do I play this Enderman's Telescope? Okay, so let me just go over this because this the end of this game was epic. So you can see at the start of this turn, I have 12 stars. Screw it, I'm going to play it. The only way I could get past that Diabokadra, which was on like 400 power and health at this point, crazy stuff, was by bouncing it back to his hand with a Pelfam. Although next turn he would have played the Diabokadra again and killed everything. So I needed to get five points because I was on 15 points in this turn. The Pelfam would have got me three and I needed to play any of my six star creatures to get another three points. However, after playing the Pelfam, I would have only had five stars left, so I needed one more star. So I risked it with this Enderman's Telescope. If I drew a creature that had one star or more, I won the game. If I didn't draw a creature, I lost the game. And I just happened to draw a big fat Melty Boy right at the end. Yes, I love it when an Enderman's... So wait, what's his health? Did he say it was 410 or 390? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 to play a Pell Farm. And then 4, 5, 6 to play Meltalon. Is this game? I'm pretty screwed if it's not, I think. He's played his Beast of the Black Hole and his Galaxy Crash. Oh man. 
Wow, yeah, if I didn't win that turn, six star strike would have been dead. All this would have been dead. So, won that game just by the skin of my teeth. Uh, I don't think I would have been able to really carry on that much unless I won that turn, so that was pretty lucky. So, that was my final battle in my first ever Chaos Galaxy tournament. Overall did well. Winning three, losing one. I did use this deck as kind of interesting, but I knew it would be somewhat competitive when I built it. So I think in future tournaments, I'm going to try and use a lot more like fun, weird decks. Let me know what you think I should use for the next tournament. And like I've said before, these tournaments are held regularly over the on the Chaos Galaxy Discord. So definitely check them out if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, I'll just leave the end of this video to kind of me babbling on after that final battle just about what my deck does. Um, so stay for that if you want. If you don't want, no worries, just make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more Chaos Galaxy content. Get your hands on some Chaos Galaxy packs, there'll be a link to the online store. Join the Discord and play in some tournaments, even if you don't want to play in the tournament. I'm really often on the Discord, um, and because I'm quarantining at the moment, um, I've got lots of time to battle you guys. If you want a game of Chaos Galaxy against me, that'd be fantastic. I'd love to see some of you guys on there, and that's about it. One thing I've really loved is the one copy of Galaxy Rock. Um, I'll be honest, I made this card as a ridiculously rare, and after I made it, I was like, do I actually need to... In fact, I even said in one of my videos, let me know in the comments if you think I should make this card better, but it's just, as one copy, I absolutely love it in this deck. You can just make it a Sinian card and use it to protect something like a Chorven Chariot, um, and which can attack for three points. Is such a good combo. What else was good that game? Chorban Chariot was so good. Uh, the Sindian engine again doing bits. Stallius, Shopperfly, and Drangel. Sindian, I, I don't know. I don't know how pure Sindian deck would match up against the pure Barrow deck, but I think they're the two best planets in the game from my experience in this tournament and playing with friends. He's got such good cards. Like... Pure Sindian, if it was using Stallius, two Drangel, Chorban Chariot, stall cards like Shockerfly, Orbov, two copies of Divine Doom, man. Even Elite Drangel and Dupab can work so well.